हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रशांत विश्वनाथ धनशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ अ कैंटिलीवर बीम बाय यूजिंग कॉन्जुगेट बीम मेथड द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज दैट द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द कॉन्जुगेट बीम फॉर अ गिवन कैंटिलीवर एंड लोडिंग कंडीशन then they will be able to calculate slope and deflection of a cantilever beam so what is conjugate beam method so the conjugate beam method is the method used to determine the slope and deflection of a beam in which an imaginary conjugate beam is constructed from the real beam the shear force and the bending moment of the conjugate beams are equal to slope and deflection of the real beam so what is real beam the real beam is the actual beam which is having actual loading and support condition conjugate beam it is an imaginary beam which is having a length equal to that of original beam but the loading will be equals to m by ei diagram to draw the conjugate beam it is necessary to know the conversion of the support from real beam to conjugate beam so if it is a simply supported uh, or roller support and in the actual beam so it should be converted to simply supported in conjugate beam because see the deflection of a actual beam will be equal to bending moment of the conjugate beam and slope of the actual beam will be equal to shear force of the conjugate beam so for that free end in actual beam will be converted to fixed end in the conjugate beam and fixed end in the real beam will be converted to free end in the conjugate beam the slope at any section in the real beam is equals to shear force at the corresponding section of the conjugate beam deflection at any section in the real beam is equals to bending moment at the corresponding section in the conjugate beam given a system of loading condition in real beam will have the loading diagram as m upon ei in the conjugate beam bending moment diagram positive for real beam that is sagging so in conjugate beam m upon ei load diagram will be downward bending moment diagram in real beam is negative that is hogging then m upon ei load diagram in the conjugate beam will be upward steps to draw the conjugate beam are as follows first draw the bending moment diagram for the real beam then divide the magnitudes of the bending moment by flexural of rigidity that is ei and draw m upon ei diagram then draw a conjugate beam having length equal to that of real beam and plot the loading diagram as m upon ei diagram as explained in step 2 apply the support to the conjugate beam uh, beam as uh, explained in the previous slide deflection in the real beam is dash of the conjugate beam here pause the video and try to write answer on a paper deflection in real beam is the bending moment of the conjugate beam now here we will try to uh, find out the slope and deflection of a cantilever beam having a point load at the free end so this is a cantilever beam ab of length l having a point load p at the free end so first of all we will see what will be the bending moment so bending moment at at the free end will be zero and the bending moment at a will be p into this distance l that is pl so we can see the bending moment diagram is as shown in figure c this one now we will draw the m upon ei diagram where bending moment is divided by ei then we will draw a conjugate beam so here support condition has to be changed so fixed support will become free and free uh, free end will become fixed end and the loading here as the bending moment is negative the loading of the conjugate beam will be upward so as shown in this figure so p upon ei is the load intensity at a now let 
theta b is the slope at b that is dy by dx at b for a given cantilever and yb be the deflection at b for a given cantilever find out the slope and deflection at beam so we have to find out the shear force and bending moment of conjugate beam so theta b for a real beam is equals to shear force at b for the conjugate beam so shear force at b will be equal to the load at this of load of this triangle therefore theta b is equals to 1 half base into height so theta b is equals to 1 half l into pl upon ei so theta b is uh, b is equals to pl square upon twice ei now you'll find the deflection at uh, b of a real beam that is yb will be equal to bending moment at b of the conjugate beam so bending moment means load into uh, distance of cg of this uh, triangular diagram from b load abc into distance of cg of abc from b so therefore yb is equals to this load is one half base into height into the cg of this load from b that is two third of l so yb is equals to one half into l into pl upon ei into two third of l so solving this we will get yb is equals to pl cube upon 3 ei now we will see the slope and deflection of a cantilever having a point load at free end for a beam having different cross section so a cantilever beam ab of length 2 meter is carrying a point load 10 kN at b that is at free end the moment of inertia of a right half of the cantilever is 10 raised to 8 mm raised to 4. So, this moment of inertia here it is 10 raised to 8 whereas left half portion it is twice into 10 raised to 8 mm raised to 4. That is if this is I moment of inertia for BC portion therefore AC portion it is twice I and E is 2 into 10 raised to 8 kN per meter square. So, we have to find the slope and deflection at the free end of this cantilever, this theta and y. So, for this first of all, we will find out the bending moment. So, bending moment at B is 0. So, bending moment at C is 10 into 1 that is minus 10 kN meter. Then, bending moment at A is this minus 10 into 2 that is minus 20 kN meter. Now, we will construct a conjugate beam that. So, now first of all we will uh, convert the end condition. So, fixed end condition will be free in case of conjugate beam and free end of a real beam will be fixed end in case of conjugate beam. Uh, M upon EI diagram. So, M upon EI at this a. So, that is A star into E star is equals to bending moment at A divided by moment of inertia at this point into E. So, it is 20 divided by E into twice I. So, it is equals to 10 upon EI. Again, M by EI at this point. So, as there is a change in section, once we have to consider just left of C and once we have to consider just right of C. Uh, just left, left of C the section is bigger and just right of C the section is smaller. So, here C star F star. So, C star F star. So, it is bending moment at C divided by E into moment of inertia of AC. So, 10 divided by E into 2i it will be 5 divided by EI. Then just taking right of C that is C star into D star is equals to bending moment at C divided by E into moment of inertia of BC portion. So, 10 divided by EI it will be 10 divided by EI. Let theta be the slope at B and YB be the deflection at B for a real beam. Slope according to conjugate beam method theta b will be equals to shear force at b for the conjugate beam. 
so shear force will be equal to uh, this loading that is a trapezoidal load plus triangular load this trapezoidal load will be one half sum of parallel side into height and this triangular load will be one half base into height so putting the values theta b will be one half that sum of parallel side will be 10 upon ei plus 5 upon ei into 1 that is the height of this plus one half base is here bc into height that is 10 upon ei so solving this we will get theta is equals to 0 0.000625 radians now to find the deflection yb is equals to bending moment at b of the conjugate beam so yb is equals to this uh, rectangular load multiplied by the distance of this rectangular uh, load from b then the load this triangular load h star f star and e star into the cg of this triangular load from b plus this triangular load b star c star d star multiply the cg of this triangular load from b so putting this value so we will get yb is equals to 7.5 upon ei plus 25 upon 6 times ei plus 10 upon 3 times ei is equals to 15 upon ei putting the values of ei we will get yb is equals to 0 0.00075 meter that is equals to 0.75 mm so these are the references which i have referred Thank you, thank you very much for watching my video.